Hey y'all, I just wanted to do an updated video of what I've been up to lately and the newest molds I've gotten in um, this month. Um, I have done my first light switch cover and this little fairy will go somewhere on it whenever she is finished. As you can tell, she needs to be trimmed down and she needs eyes that I'm still trying to figure out how to do so they're not so creepy looking. Um, but she'll go on there. Here is some pendant pieces I have been working on. These two will be listed this weekend in my and on my Facebook page and in my shop. These two will probably be listed this weekend also. And this one. This one is already in my shop. It's a little two inch keychain with seashells and shell fragments in the bottom with glitter. It's a little um, resin bottle keychain. It's really cute. I'll put my shop information down in the description box so that way if you want to keep an eye out for the necklaces that these will be, um, you'll know where to find them at. I will have them listed at least by Sunday. And this is already listed in, on my Facebook page and my Etsy shop. I'm really excited with how this turned out. That's my first bottle of that one. Um, here are the newest molds I've gotten so far this month. Some of them you have already seen. Some of them I have just gotten today. So I will re-show you the ones I've already showed you once. Here's my little fairy mold. I have used this one. These little fairies will be listed soon. They will be turned into keychains. I hand painted the fairies on it. And of course, as you can tell, they need to be finished up. They need to be sanded. But other than that, after I get the sanded done, they'll be ready to go. On this one of the little fairies, here's another little fairy. And another one. And then here's the other one. This one's going to have to be fixed. Here's another little mold that y'all have already seen. I've done another fish out of it that will be on my next review. It'll be with some pigments that um, I've been using. Here's a ladybug mold that I painted that I have not poured into yet. I'm just experimenting with the whole painting the mold thing because it's something I haven't really done yet. Here's the little fairy that I showed y'all. The light switch plate, the little cameos, I've already used these two, my little elephant mold, as you can tell, he was the first one that I painted in the mold, and when I popped him out, of course you can tell his backside and his feet and the top of his head is missing some paint, so I'm going to have to fix him, but I'm going to keep practicing with the whole paint in the mold thing, and Here's a love tag. Y'all have already seen this one also. Here's the molds I got today. I have been wanting this one since I started resin and I finally have one. I cannot wait to use this one. Here's a little candy mold. A little, another candy mold. Some little owl pendants. A little moon and star pendant cute little heart, a cute little carriage, and a wolf. I think I'm going to put him on a light switch plate too. I don't know. I just got these today so I haven't got to use these yet. So I don't have any pieces to show you from those molds. And here is one of the silicone molds I got. Um, I think it was last Friday. I found it in the clearance in the baking aisle at Walmart for a dollar. It's a pretty deep mold. It is not shiny, so when you do pieces in it, they will have to be glazed over and shined. It's just little lips and mustaches. When I went back to Walmart today, they still have a ton of them. But I figured for a dollar, it'd be a good way to um, experiment with this big of a piece. Because they are pretty big. And here's a mold 
that I've already used. I got this one last Friday also. It's the Wilton Square Silicone Mold. I got it from Michaels. It also, when the pieces come out of it, they have to be shined up also, which is no big deal. Um, it's 24 cavity. I thought it was going to be too big, but um, I like having that many squares to work with. It gives you a lot of room to um, experiment. I am going to cut it down so it's easier to handle when I am using it. Because it is kind of hard to move pieces around with this big piece. And like I said, I haven't used this one yet. I'm going to try to experiment with it this week. I don't know yet because I am running out of resin again. So it might just have to hold off. But so far, this is the molds that I've gotten this month. I have gotten a lot of them. I will do more review and videos of how my pieces come out from the newest molds that I got today. I cannot wait to try these and see how they come out. I think for a lot of these, I'm going to wait till I have some 10 minute resin and see how that comes out because I have not used 10 minute resin yet. And some of these I'll just use regular resin with, like these big thicker molds. But um, here's what I've gotten so far. Um, I suggest that whenever you're at Walmart or Michaels or anywhere, check the clearance aisles because you never know when you'll find a silicone mold for practically nothing. And they make popping out a piece so, so easy. Um, even these plastic molds that I'm getting from the mold makers off of Facebook, they the pieces come out of these plastic molds so much easier than the ones that I've been buying from stores. The mold makers on Facebook are just awesome. And at the, end of, um, at the end of the month, I'll do another video if I've gotten more new molds and show them to you. But I plan on trying to get some more silicone molds because they are so easy to work with. And you can also get those in different shapes. I know Michaels has a bunch of different um, shape molds in the baking section so just make sure that you always check the clearance aisle whenever you go anywhere that has a baking section because you never know when you're going to find an expensive silicone mold for really cheap but these are all the molds that I've gotten so far like I said I have used most of these some of these I've just gotten today so I've not got to use yet and like I said I will do another review video of what those pieces look like coming out of these molds so make sure you subscribe so that way you can um, continue to see reviews on molds pigments I will be doing more um, reviews on some pigments that are coming in some more glow in the dark some more day glow I will be um, doing a review on that and some glitters but um, just keep a lookout for my next video it will probably be I may post it Sunday. It will be on the pigments that I said I would do another review on the other day. So make sure you subscribe and keep up and um, just keep a lookout for more reviews.